I'm tired. Child, let me find out that B. Simone is really a liar, like they say in these streets. Now, before we get into this base squad, let's like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. Everything we say here is allegedly and for entertainment purposes solely. So sit back, relax, sip you some apple juice or my fave, the vegan waters. And let's get into the mess, shall we? Ooh. TV show, Nick Cannon's show, and that another female guest persuaded producers to take you off the show. Mm -hmm. That you've done nothing wrong mm -hmm. and you were taken off and your fans are concerned. Yeah. Um, is it true they took you off the show? You know what? I'm going to answer that very simply. It is true, but we're going to have grace for that situation. Mm -hmm. um, I don't agree with it, but I understand it, especially you know, she's not that mature, so we're just gonna have grace for her and move forward. And, and I, I know that sounds like, I don't even have a publicist. That sounds like the publicist's answer, but I've had time to think about it and not react emotionally, and that's genuinely how I feel. And, and so the, the show, we've not been able to verify if they, uh, if that is why they say. It's right, just out, right. There's a social media, it's everywhere, that you were taken off because this, person um, wanted you off. Correct. And you have been told you're not on the show, but you don't know the full story. I've been this on is Wild... all happening now. Yeah, I've been on Wild and Out for yeah. nine seasons. So I'm, I, was on, I wasn't on that episode yeah. because she was on the episode. Allegedly taken off for that. So Correct. here's the deal. I'll tell you. My team gonna get mad at me for coming live. My heart is shaking because I'm just, I hate drama, I hate all this stuff. It's just like, cause it's eating me up. And it's just really not cool. Okay, from the jump, it was never a demand. I don't know why the blogs are seeding it out to put it out that I demanded Be Simone not to be on Wild and Out. Wasn't the case. Wild and Out asked me. I love Wild and Out shows. I always supported Nick. I've always supported the comedians um, on the show. So, you know, me and Be Simone are not cool. So. I just, my team asked if it's cool she doesn't do the episode that I do, respectfully. It was never anything to be like, I'm a diva, I don't want. I thought it'd be more mature to have us not sitting next to each other on a show, making it mad, awkward, and uncomfortable. You know, like, I, that's, I'm protecting my peace, I'm protecting my heart on the situation. It wasn't petty. She was actually there, so I'm sure she got paid. It wasn't to take away money from nobody's pocket. It was just, why? Why would we say, I didn't know you wanted, like, I didn't know, I don't know. So, yeah. Recently, she just did a whole diss song about me. I didn't say nothing about it. I seen text messages between him and her. I didn't say nothing about it. And that's what it was. That's it. I'm handling the, the situation maturely because I feel like I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I'm just doing me. And... She on a TV interview talking about trying to make this a whole whatever. And it just is what it is. Like, I don't even want to talk about it. I feel like I'm working really, really hard right now. I'm on tour. I'm fucking tired. I'm just taking time away from my baby to, like, just kind of, like, just work and just do what I got to do. And it's just, like, I feel like the devil just wants to follow me and just, I don't know, clown me. I don't know if it's, it's real life, guys. Like... I know there's a lot of internet stuff, but you guys don't know it's real life. Real life stuff has happened. This episode, I don't think it was that deep. I'm sorry. Like, for real, I really wouldn't have did the episode if I would have known all of this would have came out of it. I'd rather have not done it. I just thought respectfully I would ask and see if that was cool. Bam. It's done. I'm not I'm never fighting over no community dick. I'm never fighting over nothing. Like... I'm past that, I'm over it, I understand. I'm not insecure, I'm not scared. I'm just not gonna be around somebody that me and you don't clearly mess with each other. So, I don't know. 
that's just it ain't missing out on no money she was there i'm sure she got paid if she didn't get paid well then i should pay her for that day for her being there and her time i don't got no more problems i don't want to speak on the situation at all i'm on tour i'm working i'm working on new music i just want to like focus on that and who knows if this will get backlash because it is what it is with me i know everybody likes to come for me it's all good like but I'm really just focusing on myself right now. I'm on tour, and that's it. It ain't no demand. It ain't no nothing. I didn't. It's just protecting my peace, protecting my energy. That's it. That's all I got to say. So, yeah. I don't know if there's anything else I would like to say. But, yeah. <sighs> Let's see what part the blogs pick up from this live and see what happens. Because it is what it is. No beef. Everybody on the cast and the show, everybody was cool. It was, it was no problems on set. It's problems now, but it's all good. Like I'm not even tripping. Nobody's in my nobody's in my position. I had a kid with John. Like this ain't no little. It's a real like. It was a sensitive topic for me. It was a sensitive situation. It's a lot. So nobody's in my shoes in this situation. So I'm sure a lot of people in real life would probably do the same thing. If they knew the truth, you was openly supporting me and him all the time and then started doing you and being weird. So it's so good, bro. Why do the show? I should have declined. Yeah. All right. Whatever. Bye. Woo! After all those thank pieces and how Danny Lay ain't this and that, y'all didn't want to see the truth. And boom, here comes the diss track because... I never thought for a second Danny Lay was mad about B. Simone messing with the baby. He's messed with a couple of women. He's messed with a couple of women and she does not care because she's moved on. I'm not going to put her tea out there. I'm going to just wait for it to organically hit the streets and then y'all going to be gagged like y'all gagged now. See, Miss B. Simone knew what she did. She knew she'd been hitting up the baby. She knew she'd been doing all these things behind the scenes, you know, flip flopping. And she expected this girl to be docile and just take it no no see when you started to rebrand you should have understood danny lay was rebranding too now i am for both the women leveling up and whatnot but be simone I feel like you're doing this because word on the curb is you want to be taken more seriously and you ready to settle down and commit because your character you play on TV is not really who you are. Hmm. Either way, I just feel like this. I'm so sick and tired of these long, drawn out, think critical analysis about how bad of a person Danny Lay is without all of the facts. I'm not working with somebody who literally said in one breath, oh my God, girl, are you okay? And then in the next breath, you're writing a diss track because you hopped on the same ping the rest of the girls hopped on and <laughs> almost spilled some exclusive, but we not doing it. And, and you think you somebody. No, I don't want to work with you and i'm tired of y'all acting like y'all can't be honest and real enough to say if it was you and you had the power not to work with a hoe who literally was playing in your face and stabbing you in your back you wouldn't seize on that opportunity i most definitely will and i see that danny lay is starting to see how these men are pitting the women against each other because nick cannon should have got a hold on this like who released this be simone who sent you to tamron hall can you tell us that i'm gonna tune in for the episode but I really want to know because B. Simone is not a victim, just like Danny, Na Danny Lay is not a victim of baby mama hood. Either way, at the end of the day, y'all, she does not want the baby. She got a man. She got a man with a bag. But, and it's not fabulous. I know what you're saying. But I, I'm, I'm sick of us having these light skin versus dark skin versus exotical debates when it's not needed. When we should have focused and harnessed this energy on Nick Cannon. And I feel like B. Simone baited black women into being mad because she don't know how to stand up to her boss. She needs to learn how to speak up or otherwise leave. Because you are the one who's been over there for nine seasons and Danny Lay is the guest and I saw what Just Hilarious had to say but Just Hilarious like girl you got some stuff going on with yourself just stay out of it you don't know how to speak up for yourself at your job either <laughs> and that's what I got from the car but anyways Bay Squad what are your thoughts what are your opinions comment down below I gotta go bye hoes